Hi, it's Brett. Um, I'm here to make a video on why you should or shouldn't use a crock pot. And honestly, I don't know the answer yet, but we will by the end of this video. If you want to know why I'm wearing these stylish glasses at uh, 5 in the morning, wait till the end of the video. And um, actually, I'll probably have another link to another video on it. Uh, but it's super important and it makes you a whole lot healthier and it's, it's not much to do. And you look cool, too. Um, anyway, uh, so I don't know how to reverse this camera on the fly, so this isn't going to be the most professional video, but the information I promise you, you won't find anywhere else. So um, what I'm going to do is show you real quickly a um, crock pot, uh, and I'm actually using this one to make uh, keep different types of teas warm. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some distilled water, and you can see it's, it's um, sealed and has not been opened. And then I'm going to take a TDS meter, and um, we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to put the um, water in um, in the crock pots because uh, the th issue is is these crock pots they are lined with enamel, um, and I've looked at the material data safety sheets on the enamel, and it is highly highly toxic. You would never want any of that in your body, um, and so I figure if I put some distilled water, which is acidic, so it's going to tend to leach. Um, and acidity and heat and time are the major factors for uh, for leaching. Uh, sorry about my messy kitchen. I just made a big uh, crock pot with my instant pot, which, by the way, is the best crock pot with the stainless steel liner. It's a pressure cooker, all in one, 701 instant pot, instant pot on Amazon. They're about 100 bucks when they're on sale, maybe 120 when they're not. That's what I recommend. Um, but I got this tea warmer thing and I figured, you know what, I, I'm going to try it out. So uh, I'm going to pause this for just a second and pour some distilled water in here and then um, and then we'll test it. So guys, I've got the um, crock pot here filled with um, water. And um, I'm not sure you can see that, um, that this little TDS meter um, I hope I can get the camera right here. This is 0 .001, which is really just one. Um, and if you look to the right, the one is ppm, and that's pretty standard. That's um, that's parts per million, and um, so that's just saying that there's one part per million. I mean, technically it should be zero, but um, probably some impurities from the um, from the plastic uh, container that it was in. So just putting the lid on this, um, and right now we will check the time. We're making this very official. It is. 5:48 in the morning, and that is Idaho, North Idaho time. Um, and we're gonna check this after who knows how long. Um, probably have to let it cool off. Um, so we've got it on high. We'll check it after a few hours, and I'll come back to you. I'm also gonna do my little banana experiment with the other ones, uh, which we'll talk about perhaps on another video. And um, so I've got this on and we will check the TDS later and we'll see if there were any particles that leached from the crock pot. And I've also got my handy dandy little temperature infrared. These are awesome by the way, and they're only like 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, I like the Newbie brand, N-U-B-E-E. -E. Anyway, um, so we will check it at the temperature after a while and we will check the total dissolved solids. and. Uh, we will see if it leaches, and I don't know. So uh, you'll learn right along with me here, and I will be back.